Hello foodies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a review of a recent dinner I had at Tozen Sushi Bar, which is located at 967 West Broadway in Vancouver. It's a fairly new place. I think it's been established in the, next, in the last year or so. And um, a friend kind of recommended it. They saw a lot of nice pictures about the place, looked really nice. So I thought I'd check it out. Um, it's for the same people that do top sushi and it's kind of like a more upscale uh, kind of uh, design and top sushi I think is fairly popular more as a like a takeout place and kind of a value place so this is kind of their entry market into a little bit more upscale so the place is actually really nice and when you step in it looks pretty upscale so I was quite impressed with it at first um, but that's where it kind of stops and it becomes more like top sushi at a value place um, the service center is not high uh, it's more kind of just uh, yeah, they're not really, um, they don't serve the way that, you know, a normal upscale restaurant does. They're very casual about things, not very efficient, very friendly. Um, and actually at the end, they always ask you, they're really nice to try and make a last good lasting impression. But the problem being is during their food service, it's just decent. It's, I don't personally think it was very good service. Although I saw some other tables really enjoying the conversation with uh, the, the waiters and the managers. So maybe it was just me, but I just didn't feel the service standard was very high. I think the place has a lot of potential. They put, it seems like they put a lot of money into the um, renovations of this place. It looks magnificent. Everything is new. Um, but again, the food has to speak for itself and the service has to speak uh, so it just doesn't match the decor, in my opinion. Um, and so they have a really big menu. Anything from sushi to, you know, uh, rice bowls to um, tempura. So they have a real wide gamut. And maybe that's a little bit too much to handle for upscale restaurant. Uh, but, you know, let's go through the food. Short video of the ambiance of the restaurant. Really looks nice. So the first thing we had, California roll for $6.50, pretty good deal. Um, the portion is quite big. Um, so it's uh, caddy stick, avocado, cucumber, and mayo. Uh, pretty decent, but again, uh, it's, it's like it's, uh, I guess, affordable. Uh, so it's kind of the same thing as Top Sushi, other than um, it's a little bit more upscale in terms of setting. As many of you may know, I have another uh, YouTube channel called Trophy Wine Hunter, and I'm a big wine guy. But sometimes I just don't feel like wine and I like to try out the mocktails um, because a lot of people don't drink. And so we don't want to be left out as a non-drinker. Uh, we still want something nice. So I tried one of their uh, mocktails. This is the Yuzu Nojito, which they just had. I thought it was quite nice. $8. Not, I think, too expensive, but I thought it was nice. And it's a drink that's very attractive and you don't feel out of place if you're not a drinker. Next, I had their oyster motoyaki. They both have, they have either oyster or scallop motoyaki. Um, it's uh, two things about this. One, it's a little bit pricey at $8.50 for just this bowl. And secondly, it's not in the regular oyster shell. It's kind of in a crab brulee type thing. Um, so it's a little bit weird. I thought that it had a little bit too much cheese, but, um, and it kind of it just became a bunch of cheese, uh, not as much oyster, but it was okay. I always like to try the tempura at Japanese restaurants. Again, really tough to get it uh, the right consistency without being too oily. And so this is their assorted tempura, which is two pieces of yam, kapucha, um, green bean, lotus root, and prawn uh, for $15. I think the price is really good. Um, it's two things. One day, I guess they did realize there's lots of oil, so they have a little rack that takes out the oil, but then you can actually see how much oil. There's quite a bit of oil on this. And secondly, just to, uh, look at the consistency, the frying, I think is a little bit different than what I would see normally. Um, so I thought it was okay. Also tried out all, some of their sushi and sashimi. This is their salmon sashimi, uh, wild salmon for $15 and 25 cents. Uh, it is wild salmon, uh, so it's gonna be more expensive than um, farm salmon, but, uh, and I thought it was okay. Uh, the consistency was okay. It was, the quality was decent. Um, it wasn't spectacular. Uh, price, I think it's fair. I thought the next dish was one of the best dishes. This is the mushroom green bean tofu salad for $10. Lots of size, great value, 
actually it was very tasty so uh, i really enjoyed it i don't see this that often so it's kind of unique i liked it this is their chicken karage which is actually really well priced it's nine dollars for a crispy boneless chicken thigh the only problem is i didn't think it was that good uh, first of all with the deep frying it wasn't really that it was like lightly fried just like um the tempura secondly um, i almost thought it was almost um, not cooked uh, well and i it kind of felt kind of um, not very good in the mouth and i actually didn't finish the dish um, i checked with my wife who was there she said it wasn't uh, undercooked but it was barely cooked i would say just passable so i don't think i can blame them for that but it was not like well cooked let's put it that way the chicken so didn't enjoy the consistency at all um, and didn't finish the dish they have a lot of bluefin on their menu, and so I thought I'd try their bluefin nigiri set for $29. It's one piece each of nigiri bluefin, akami, chitoro, and otoro. And I thought it was decent, the quality. Again, I'm not an expert in sushi, but just based on my taste preference, I would say it was okay. Um, then we had other sushi, as you can see along the row here. Um, we had other types of sushi. They're all quite small in terms of size. Nagi was $5, the Kura was $5, the Uni was $15. So a bit of expensive for the Uni considering it's so small. Um, the only problem is I actually found a scale, um, like of uh, skin scales inside the Bluefin Tuna set. So that wasn't good. Um, and so you'll say, um, well, you should have said something to them. Well, I didn't say anything, but I did leave the scale on there. I left some other things. I didn't finish some dishes. They actually never actually asked me exactly what the problem was. Um, they always, they asked me about how my mocktail was. They never actually asked us how was the meal. So I never gave them comments. So as you'll see on this video, on this part of it, uh, that's the scale that I left on the thing. And also at the end of the ginger, um, the ginger, they actually got to the root. So you'll see that I put a little bit of the ginger root, um, the end part of it. So they actually serve that too. So all in all, it's a great YouTube or Instagram type restaurant. Like the food looks magnificent, the place looks magnificent, but I think the quality is not there. Um, it's like Tom Sushi uh, kind of value and sushi, um, but doesn't, um, it, it can't uh, justify the upgraded price for the sushi. Uh, for upscale restaurants. So the place is really nice, takes great pictures, but I would say that food quality is really of a value standard. And um, so I can't recommend this restaurant, um, but it is, I mean, if people like a really nice place to take pictures and um, I guess, uh, you know, a nice upscale place to go, yes, it's a great place, but the food quality doesn't match the setting at all. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy eating.